Uh, my name is Steve Ojinare. My name is Steve Joy Ihoma. I remember we met in church. I was already in church. Uh, she came, I think, first time, and became a member of the church. And with time, I just got to know her little by little. I think we had the, uh, we had something to do. I think an event or so. So created a WhatsApp group for it. On the WhatsApp group, she was talking, saying some things. I was also saying some things. So we clashed on the WhatsApp group. Mm, there is no much difference from what you just said. It was I joined the church. I was actually invited by my lecturer to her church for one service like that. So I came. You know, I'm just this kind of person that I like. If I get to a new place, I like to keep to myself. So I wasn't really speaking with anybody like that. But I used to see him probably was an active workforce member, be there and everything. But there was really no interest. There was no attention to towards anything like that. I just thought, and we don't, the funny thing is we don't even talk in church. Like, it's not like after service, maybe we'll say hi. No. But I know that he's someone that people likes to always stay close to because he likes to crack jokes and things like that. So sometimes, I might just be by the side, he will say something, I'll smile, but there was no physical interaction till that particular event. I think that was on a WhatsApp group church whatsapp group that was just created to plan the event in the whatsapp group people even started making jest of ah yes, and these yeah. people you already married or something like that but we didn't take it serious so just one day he chatted me up and he introduced himself he said okay so we just started chatting and as a matter of fact, the proposal was even on WhatsApp. <laughs> he just told me, I want to marry you, just like that. So, <laughs> and there was no interest on that. So when he now said, I want to marry you, I was like, I said, this guy, is he even serious or what? <laughs> um, this is two years and yeah, November uh, should make us finish. three years. Perspective of learning is different. It's gender based. What you learn, because men and women have different temperaments, they have different uh, uh, disposition towards life. I have learned only one thing, and that thing is don't separate yourself from God. Without God, it's God that started it, and God will run it till the end. Mm. If you remove God, as if you started with God, though, mm. if you remove God, it's finished. The second thing I've learned is tolerance. You can tolerate yourself. The way you tolerate yourself, also tolerate your spouse. If you don't know it, open your heart to learn. Mm. So that is one thing I've learned. I'm not somebody that tolerates so much, but once I just entered marriage, I just learned how to tolerate. I've also learned that God is the foundation of a marriage. No matter the angle you are coming from, if God is not there to build, if God is not there to build the home, both of you are just wasting your time. Number one is generally, and number two is um, on personal basis. Now, the first one is, you know, my pastor always tell us that people capture moments when they are happy. They don't capture moments when they are sad or maybe when there is an issue or something. So what is usually portrayed every time is, ah, happy couples and everything. So the secret there is people not telling you that marriage is something to be worked at. It's an institution of its own. It's not the way you perceive it that it's every time snapping of picture, having enjoyment, because both of you are two different individuals and two different backgrounds. So definitely there will be some misunderstandings, there will be some adjustments and everything. But nobody always comes up to tell you that, hey, see, as you're entering into marriage, see, everybody portrays that excellent aspect of it. I also have something to say. Let's just call this spade a spade. 
there are battles in marriage you understand that is one thing that people don't tell you there are battles but uh, uh somebody said anna some bubble agog you understand if you're looking at the battles you will not conquer you waste your time waste your youthful time so they are about to marry people will tell you people will tell you their results tell you i know a couple 12 years 15 years of marriage anytime you see them you wonder what's happening what's happening but when you go below you see the battles that they have passed through they will share it with you until you come close so there are battles but the problem is not what happens in time it's what you do in time that's the that's the problem so if you if you don't know what to do that's where you have an issue but you must enter marriage with a resolved mind and that resolved mind is whatever comes up here there is no dissolution <laughs> Huh? Well, uh, I miss few things. I will say I miss a lot of things. I miss few things. I miss waking up in the morning and decide to sleep in. <laughs> Unlike before, you can just travel, spend weeks, months if you like, maybe with your family and everything. But now, it's not like that again. So I miss those things because I'm someone that really loves traveling. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, even though when I check, if I check, if I go through the, this and I discover that I'm better now. Mm. I miss being spontaneous. I can wake up in the morning and go to Lagos. It has happened. I woke up that morning and said, let's go. We're going to Lagos. Now, I carry my bag. I said, I'm going. I enter Lagos, stay three days and come back. <laughs> About him. Yes. Well, I love everything. You know, once you are married, you take the whole package. So, you don't leave anyone behind. <laughs> when God gave me a wife, he gave me a perfect wife. To me, every other thing came with the perfection. You know, we are the ones that start looking at eh, this one, this one, that one, that one. But if you look beyond, if you look from the eyes of God, you see that this is the perfect person. That's not... You don't have any dislike. There's no, no dislike. It was more like both of us we are just like we are made in the same <laughs> how do I put it? We are just made it's like it's like this? not and both. You know, the perfect not and the perfect you know, you just <laughs> lock everything up. You get the point. What is one thing she's telling us? She likes sleeping. I like doing what? She likes sleeping. Many of the time she's sleeping, I'm going out. <laughs> and I'll be like, babe, I'm going. <laughs> you understand? So instead of putting the pressure of, don't you know that I will go out in the morning, you should wake up on time and all that. I just carry, sometimes I even run. The time she's awake to maybe prepare food for me, I don't even eat. I already mastered not to eat in the morning. You understand? So I run. But that has always eh? been a part that's, of me. That's, that's, that's a part of me. You know, so it's not like, but she, at a point, she wanted to like, you have to eat in the morning when you're going. I say, I know it's good to eat in the morning. I said, but I've already programmed myself like this. So, so I don't really, I don't really think about it. One thing my husband is terrible at is that's paying attention to some certain details especially maybe sometimes when i'm down i'm not the kind of person that is always sick but maybe at some intervals and maybe something comes up or the other and then you are so down you will tell him oh babe i'm not feeling so strong and everything i'll tell you okay and maybe probably pray for you in the morning before going to work well, can you believe my husband will come back? He will not even remember that there was something like that. In fact, he will stay like three days. He will not even remember that. Ah, there was even a time my wife said she was sick. Even if he, even if he sees you lying down, he might not even pay attention. To you. He will just come in, act normal, babe. Ah, so he will even just see what happened at work. My husband is very terrible at that. Thank you. <laughs> well. I only have three things, and I always have three ways. Get a spiritual authority. That's all I can tell anyone. 
get a spiritual authority because without them you can't manage alone. Hold on to God. Is it three words? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. You're done. Please say something to her. Say something special to um that one not there for sleep. Uh, I know. It's not stupid. <laughs> that one. Say something special to him. Um, something that has to do with how much you love him and Ew. how how oh. so, yeah. Yeah. Shy. Shy. That one wants him to get. I love you. And from the moment I've met you. Um you've been one of my greatest treasures. Yeah. But mm. you've been one of my greatest treasures, and every day I'm always grateful to God that I had someone like you. And I bless God for giving me someone like you. So I pray you keep loving God, you keep loving me. And we keep building this hope together. Talk, talk, talk. My talk. You don't need them to look at you. Like 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 Baby, I love you. Whenever I say I have everything I need, everything I have is you. I have nothing before you. So you are my everything. I love you. And we we'll grow all together, loving God and serving God. Kiss me. 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 Kiss